Nice. Hi. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> my voice is extra deep today because my throat hurts. It's sexy. I know. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a fly. <laughs> Welcome back to this week's episode of Broom Banter with our special guest, Nora Flatley from Mic'd Up with Nora Flatley. <laughs> so this week, Nora is our guest because all year she's been super consistent. She's hit 30 out of 30 on her teens. I have? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and she's been made quite famous from her Mic'd Up. <laughs> Do you want to talk about it a little bit? Yeah, girl. <laughs> Yeah, I think that the mic up coming out really exposed me and my weirdness because I feel like on social media and stuff, I was never like, I never showed that part of myself and like the craziness and me being wild, but the mic up really exposed me and put me out there. It did. <laughs> no, like I've known Nora for like quite a while now. We used to go to camps together, never were super close, but now when she came to school, I was like, oh, this girl's got a personality with her. <laughs> She's just so fun and just so fun to be around and it's just silly like that all the time. <laughs> like there's no stopping it. I'm lucky to be on a team that really like brings it out of me too and accepts me and most of the time joins in with me. So <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. <laughs> so we just got back from regionals in Michigan, and it's pretty safe to say that it went pretty well. It was so fun. It was lit. Yeah, we qualified to nationals, which is super awesome. Um, we also qualified with Michigan. That was super awesome to see them qualify and to see how happy they were. And like all in all, it was just a really fun meet. Like it didn't even feel like we were competing. It was so natural and the energy was so good the whole time. Yeah, it was. With that being said, let's get into the meet recap. The first day of competition, we started off on vault and Kyla Boss just doing Kyla Boss things, scored a perfect 10. She's still our boss. Still our boss. Mia also stuck her vault, scoring a 9.9. .9. It was ice cold, baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> our beam lineup was a little bit different this week. We had Caitlin lead off because we wanted to rest Gigi for day two and she absolutely killed it. She went up to Ms. Val and was like, um, I want this spot every time now because it's <laughs> awesome. And she scored a 9.95. Yeah, it was amazing. I didn't even know she was leading off till like right before I went. I was like, wait, is, where's Gigi? And then they're like, Kate's going. I was like, oh, okay. It was a different change, but it worked yeah, out well. It was amazing. On to floor, the highlight of the rotation was Macy Taranjo. She hasn't competed floor in two years, and she really stepped up when we needed her the most to give Kate and Kylo a rest. And she came in, hit a beautiful floor routine, scoring a 9.85. Yeah, you could just see like the joy on her when she was competing that even though she hasn't done it for a while, it was so natural for her. She just went in and did it like she does in training. I know. I think it made everybody super emotional too because she's a senior. Yeah. She loves competing floor and just to see her out there, like just like watching her, I was getting emotional yeah. too. I was like, this she is just so amazing. She was glowing when she was doing her routine. Mm -hmm. Moving on to day two, we started off on balance beam. Gigi was back in the lineup in her leadoff spot. Unfortunately, she fell for the first time of her collegiate career on the balance beam. But that's okay because Brielle was right after her, regrouped real quick and hit a solid beam routine. How did you feel being in that beam lineup knowing that the first person fell? Um, I didn't focus too much on it because our beam squad is so solid and then Brielle like going up and hitting like she always does just like showed how mentally strong we are and just that we can have trust in each other to do whatever we need and get it done. Kyla Boss, again, Kyla Boss thing. Just Day in the life of her. Scored a perfect 10 on balance beam, coming in clutch as well. I think that's why my throat is so sore, because after they flashed that 10, I was freaking out. Screaming. It was amazing. Finishing off on bars, Nora over here stuck her dismount ice cold, scoring a 9.9. .9. Oh my, your routine was so hype. Thank you. It was so hype. It was so fun, because the first day, my dismount wasn't too good. I took like a hop, and it was just like kind of like messy. But the second day, I was like, don't think about sticking. Just go in and do the right technique, and you'll find the landing. And that's what I did. Bar squad was lit mm -hmm. this past weekend. It was weekend. Really fun. And to close off a great meet, Kyla, once again, perfect 10 on the uneven bars. Madness. It was amazing. Like literally every routine she does in every meet, it's the exact same. She mm -hmm. never changes anything. No. It's crazy like how it's the exact same every t single time. Yeah, she's so consistent and mm -hmm. that's how she trains in the gym too. Exactly. Like if it's not perfect, then she's doing it again. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy boss. Our final score was a 198.075, advancing us to the NCAA National Championships. Super exciting. Yay. 
<laughs> like I said earlier, Michigan also advanced as well, and Gigi was so emotional. Oh it was gosh. so cute. She started crying. She, she was so happy. She was, because she has a lot of her club teammates that are also on Michigan, and mm -hmm. she knew how hard everybody on the Michigan staff team had worked to get them to advance the national championships. It was really cool to see. Yeah, it was just so beautiful. So you are a freshman this year. You haven't competed in quite a while, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how is competing every weekend? How have you been handling it? What's kind of going through your mind about it? Yeah, I mean, not competing for almost two years after stopping Elite gave me a lot of time to like mentally recover, physically recover. So then coming into college, I was really prepared to like get out there every weekend and really be excited for that because I've never had the opportunity to compete this many times. And it's really fun. No, it's so fun competing every weekend, getting ready. I yeah. think that's like probably one of my favorite it's so parts. Fun. Yeah, like Elite, literally, if you're lucky, you compete three times a year. Coming from that to this, it's a big hot, but it was really good. How's your body been feeling and stuff with competing every weekend? Yeah, I mean, I'm not doing all rounds, so like floor and vault is like the two harder leg events I don't have to really worry about, so my body feels good. It's good. Yeah. Oh, that's so exciting. Now, on to Twitter question. This one comes from at Gymnast Relate. And they ask, congrats to you and the team for qualifying to nationals. I love how much support you always give your teammates. That being said, if you could describe your team this season in one word, what would it be? Mm, probably loving. Because our team gives so much love to each other that it's just, it's indescribable. I've never been surrounded by so many people that just support and lift each other up on a daily basis. It's incredible. Yeah. And I love every one of my teammates. And every meet, every day, I try to give them all the support and hype they need and they could ever want. Yeah, this team is really something different. It's something that like I've never been a part of, and mm -hmm. I've watched the transition from when we first yeah. reported in September to now. It's mm -hmm. it's insane the transformation. Yeah, it's like a complete change. It's mm -hmm. crazy how much like our team has just like come together and literally like sisters. Question number two. This one comes from <laughs> at Reagan Flatley. What? Hello, <laughs> <laughs> your sister. <laughs> no. <laughs> she asks. What's been the highlight of your college career so far? Is it appropriate for me to say, yeah, girl, in every situation? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> and to the first question, the highlight probably um, being able to enjoy gymnastics and actually have fun with it. And like going to the gym every day with like a light spirit, not really like nervous about, you know, what's going to happen and like how my body's going to hold up and you know, just like the unexpected things, but instead going into the gym, great for every, every day that I get the opportunity to train gymnastics and be surrounded by this team. That's probably the highlight. Oh my gosh, Nora, you're so well-spoken. Thank you. <laughs> the last Twitter question comes from at Elizabeth6037 and they ask, what has been the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you on campus so far or any time? By the way, I love your laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have these scooter, like electric scooters around LA called bird scooters. So I was riding one one day and I tried to like go up on this like little part, like after the road it like went up and I completely like wiped out <laughs> and like a crowd of people just go, oh, <laughs> it was so embarrassing. And I like tried to get up really fast but my phone fell out of my pocket. So I was like trying to ride away. They're like, your phone. I was like, ah. <laughs> that was probably embarrassing. Other than that, nothing. I mean, that's a pretty embarrassing story. But I wasn't like super embarrassed. That's good. Most people would consider it embarrassing. <laughs> that's awesome. You gotta be careful on those things, girl. I'm a adrenaline junkie. <laughs> Thanks for being on the show, Nori. This was so fun and very long awaited for the Bruin fans and for me too. <laughs> thank you for having me and thank you to all the Bruin fans for all the support and not thinking I'm too weird. That's always a good thing. <laughs> we'll be traveling to Fort Worth, Texas for the NCAA Championships in semifinal number one on Friday, April 19th, 10 a.m. Pacific time, and you can catch us on ESPN2. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Until next time, bye. Bye. <laughs>